Knowledge is power. Make an impact by learning more. Call us right now for more help at 866-945-8070. Hey, Seth David here from the world-famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated, bringing you another special screencast. This time we're talking about QuickBooks Online price rules, a complete guide. We're going to show you how to turn it on, how to set it up, how it works, everything you need to know. So let's get right into this. If I navigate over here to the gear icon at the top right, I want to go into my account and settings, and we'll go into sales, right? And down here, it kind of catches your eye because it's got that little beta symbol next to it. So you can click into here and check it off to turn on the price rules and save it. Now, once it is turned on, two ways you can access this in the navigation. Once uh, the screen finishes refreshing, click the gear icon. And if we go to all lists, you'll find it under products and services right here where it says price rules. Okay, that's one way. The other way is if you go into your products and services list and you edit any item, doesn't matter which one, any item that you edit on the list, you can come down here where it says price rules and I can click on an existing one or I can click add new, right? Either way, it gets me into the price list world. Right, so two ways to access that. Let's go in through the actual price rules list. And the first one I want to show you is one that I've actually already created. You name it here. This is for the business management VIP. So this is a service I provide called business management. Let's actually go back to the products and services. And I normally charge $1,500. Before you start setting up price rules, make sure you have your price is your sales price in place for all of your items because any adjustment that you're making based on a price rule is going to be relative to this sales price. So if this is blank or zero and you're discounting it, you're going to end up having a price of negative something, which I imagine they won't actually, it won't actually work. Um, so let's go back into our price rules list. And we'll edit the existing one. And I'll just walk you through how I set this up. And essentially what this was is for quote-unquote VIP customers. I want to offer that same business management service for $1,000 a month instead of $1,500. So I named it Business Management VIP because it's specifically for that product and certain customers. So under customers, I chose to select customers individually. And so far, I've got one customer added in here. So if I want to add another customer, I just click Add Customer. And over here, I choose from the list. So let's add in these guys, 19 or 191 Spring Street. Um, And now they'll be included. And here's how this works. So if I save and close this, and I go to invoice a customer, and let's choose one that's not a VIP first. Let's choose this one and go in here and bring up business management. It comes up with the rate of 1500, of course. If I clear that out, and I go in and I choose always right, which was one of the VIP customers I created. Now when I choose business management, notice it comes up right away with the rate of only 1000 right? Because I set them up as a VIP customer eligible for this price rule. So how did I set that up? Already you saw how I set up the customer, but also under products or services, I chose to select them individually. So whenever you choose to select individually for customers and products and services, you get these two tabs right here where I can where it shows us whom we've selected or which products we've selected. So here I added in the one product or service that this is built around. And of course, the way I did that was I simply clicked right here where it says add a product or service. Funny how that works. So really, really, really easy to set this up. Of course, over here, we're going to decide fixed amount, percentage, or we can do a custom price per item. In that case, you just go in and set up the custom price over here where it says adjusted price, right? And then, of course, are we increasing or decreasing? This is hopefully very straightforward. And the amount, right? So if this was a percentage, then that amount becomes a percentage with a fixed amount. It's a dollar amount. And then rounding, no rounding, I kind of said in the write-up, Don't do this. Just do no rounding. Um, Keep it simple. But obviously, this is here in case you wanted to apply some kind of rounding because you may be selling products or your client may be selling products, you know, and you might want to just, I don't know, even it out somehow. So you can apply the rounding. 
and that's it. And then you click apply and it updates the pricing based on the options that I've chosen here. So that's the VIP pricing scenario or example. We're gonna do another one. So I'm gonna hit save and close and I wanna create a surge pricing example. So let's say it's your busy time of year. If you're an accountant or bookkeeper, it's tax season, it's, it's year end now, uh, or, it's, or it's actually tax season. And either way, those are kind of the busy times. So you have people coming in, you wanna kind of raise the rates a little bit um, because it's busy season. So let's say surge pricing starts from, let's just call it right after Thanksgiving, right? We'll say it starts on November 24th and it really isn't going to end until April 15th, right? So we set a date range and say this is the period. So it's gonna to apply to all customers, all products and services. We're gonna do it based on a percentage and we're gonna increase all of our pricing by 25% with no rounding. Let's hit save and close. And let's go invoice a customer for business management since we're in that surge pricing period. And we'll do a non-VIP just so we can see what we would expect to see, which is that the normal price is 1500, that should now be increased by 25%. Sure enough, we get a rate of 1875 because it applied my rule about surge pricing. That my friends are just two examples of how to set price rules. I'd love to hear your examples or if you have a question about how I would set this up for your specific example, then first subscribe to my YouTube channel right here. And second, Post your comments or questions below wherever you happen to be watching this, and I'll be more than happy to and even excited to get back to you with an answer to your question or a response to your comment, whatever it may be. As always, I hope you learned something here and had some fun along the way. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.